Ladies first always. So, uh, <laughs> Violet Wambua, she's the CEO of Networking in Hills. She'll tell us what exactly that is. But she's joined also by George Miner from PKF, who's a tax uh, specialist there. And uh, gentlemen and lady, you've seen such a story and it breaks our hearts uh, how s someone would put a lot of effort to get that kind of documentation. But uh, um, what do you make of that, Violet? For me, that's a display of human misery. Right. And I think it goes on every day, mm -hmm. every hour. Mm -hmm. And we've seen the point where you put out a notice that you just want a very, say, lowly skilled assistant mm -hmm. and the CVs that come pouring in are too... Yeah, like he had uh, a big uh, finance and banking option. Yes. Well, he's working people at have a gone to school. Shop. Yeah, 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 people yeah. have gone to school. And you see, it all comes from how we were brought up in mm -hmm. a kind of education mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. We were shown that you need white collar mm -hmm. jobs. So anything that, you know, we, we over glorify the papers mm -hmm. over actual, actual experience right. and an open mind to try out other sectors right. away from what we study. So it's a system that has been wired wrongly. Yes, definitely. Uh, George, let me bring you in on this. What, what are the sentiments you have when you watch such, such a story? Uh, actually, um, uh, that's a desperate situation which then calls for desperate measures from the government. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think then we need to relook at our planning uh, in terms of the youth and the employment. Mm -hmm. Uh, then uh, ask ourselves, are we putting more emphasis on the, uh, the papers as it were, mm -hmm. uh, rather than uh, the technical qualifications or right. on the job training, which right. is very, very important. George, this Thursday we are having budget reading. O obviously from your firm you've, you've done a lot of assessment, yeah. you've done a lot of calculations and you have an opinion about this great budget. Yeah. But is there room, is there space for people like Robert in this budget? And what, what space is this first? Yeah, uh, actually, if you look at the numbers that uh, have just been released in terms of the, uh, the budget estimates mm -hmm. and the uh, government policy paper right. uh, for the prior financial year, mm -hmm. uh, the government had projected to create one million jobs. Right. Out of the one million, uh, the uh, uh, as it stands, uh, we're talking about 700,000 jobs that were created. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, and that's why I'm coming to that point, is that out of the 700,000, 94% have been created from the informal, informal sector. sector yes. That tells you something, that then we need to reprioritize in terms of planning mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, for employment. Mm -hmm. uh, in that, let the government uh, put more emphasis right. on core sectors mm -hmm. that are labor intensive, right. such as the construction sector, right. agriculture sector, and those are some of the areas where uh, um, our, 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 our viewer here would, would probably have uh, uh, a chance right violet you work with a lot of young women uh, in your mm -hmm. in your line of work and every day i assume there are such cases right we're talking about this huge budget that no one knows uh, from how we're going to fund it well other than euro bond and taxes but obviously there's a burden of where do we fit in all this for, for the young women that you talk to who obviously have the qualifications they need but they do not have jobs how do we marry such a budget with these people well, thank God for Weso Fund, first right. of all. Thank right. God for the Women Fund. Mm -hmm. Thank God for um, the fact that now the mindsets are shifting. Mm -hmm. There's a paradigm shift mm -hmm. from I gotta get an eight to five job right. to how can I make money out of something that I love to do. Okay. So you find a lot of people doing, I'm being encouraged, and actually I'm encouraging people to go into things they like to do. Correct. If you like to write, mm -hmm. find a way to write. Mm -hmm. If you can submit to the standard and get money out we'll of it, pay. why not? Right. Yeah, I'm sure you pay something small. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So that's the kind of thinking that shabby. I'm encouraging. Well, yes. It's not too shabby actually, because yes. I've tried it myself. Right. I, yeah, I'll be honest. Right. So. Um, it's really just about telling people, yes, it's an amazing thing that you went to school. Mm -hmm. Because school is to open your mind. It's not to say set you in a, on a railroad mm -hmm. that you must So be having there. graduated, you don't have a right to be entitled. Kenya owes you nothing. Is well, that what you're saying? Kenya owes you the right to survive. Okay. And that's the one thing I shall keep on saying. But no one owes you a job. You know, Bonnie, okay. you don't owe me a job, okay. but you owe me the space the to space survive. The space to express yourself. Yes, yes. Right. to express myself, to dignity. Because mm. there's dignity in work, there's mm. dignity in making a living. Right. There's indignity of yes. having to beg and borrow. Correct. Yes. George, she's mentioned Wezo Fund and yes. all the other funds, Women Fund and all these sort of funds that, that the government is setting and looking not just in Kenya, but ac across Africa, this has been the norm. Yeah. Marginalization and trying to uplift people and give them a hand. Um, how effective are they from the numbers you deal with? Actually, uh, that's a good question because uh, if you look at uh, the six billion that was allocated, mm -hmm. uh, which was supposed to be for the rerun, 
allocated for the uh, ways of fund, mm -hmm. uh, the absorption capacity right. has not been as expected mm -hmm. because then we come up with all these good ideas. Right. Ultimately, there's a lot of bureaucracy mm -hmm. such that the youth who is somewhere in, uh, in Western Kenya or in coast mm -hmm. uh, doesn't receive the funds or mm -hmm. it takes quite some time right. before the fund is actually received. Right. Uh, secondly, another issue we probably need to address is the awareness. Mm -hmm. uh, um, awareness in terms of the processes, the procedures, mm -hmm. uh, to access the, the funds, especially right. for someone who is in the rural parts of so Kenya. So the money is there, but people just don't know. Yeah. Now, 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 George, you mentioned earlier a, a bit of the figures, and uh, we'll have those figures on the screen right about yeah. now. Uh, looking at what exactly has been done in the past year, and from the economic survey that was presented by the Ministry of Planning and Devolution, mm -hmm. we talked about, uh, about 700,000 uh, jobs. Uh, in both the informal and formal sector, but mm -hmm. in the formal sector, we're just talking about about 26,000 jobs. Yes, yes. Um, and, and that figure is worrying because, yes, the government targeted a million, we did 700, and it is not in the sectors that we thought. Yet the bulk of the people, as Violet has said, are thinking our jobs are in the offices. Yeah. They're dropping CVs, they're buying or borrowing suits to show up for interviews and they're not yes. getting. How do we address this? This, this setup. Yes. I feel we should encourage, rather government should mm -hmm. encourage companies to go into wealth creation Correct. rather than just wealth acquisition. Mm -hmm. Because you see, graduates are rolling out like biscuits every single day. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. there are so many universities right now. Right. Like every college that was ever set up is now a university of yes, sorts. Yes. And everybody's doing a, sh a flashy course, a marketable course. Mm -hmm. And we are running away from things that are actually sustainable over the years. Correct. So what I would say is that to catch, to, to, to say, to, to keep this fantasy mm -hmm. closer to the reality, mm -hmm. encourage corporates to en expand. Right. I mean, government should partner with corporates mm -hmm. so that then we create space mm -hmm. for larger absorption. So right. then we're not talking about 26,000, we're looking at 2.6 million even, right. you know, over a space of 10 years or so. Mm -hmm. So those are just, you know, ways to, mm -hmm. yeah. And also mm -hmm. the NGO sector, just work with as many sectors as possible mm -hmm. to create space. Because for me, the cry would be give everybody a right to survive. Right. Yeah. George, um, what, what are the low hanging fruits that we can leverage in this situation for the young people now? I, th I think firstly is to take advantage of the, s the programs that the government has come up with, uh, the various funds, mm -hmm. um, because ultimately self-employment uh, is one area where if mm -hmm. if, when you talk about employment is absorbing a huge number right. of the youth. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, um, the government, uh, particularly the cabinet secretary, mm -hmm. even as he reads the budget on Thursday, one of the key areas I think the government should put emphasis is that uh, uh, come up with the specific tax incentives that target companies which offer training and, uh, and uh, opportunities to mm -hmm. fresh graduates. Because one of the biggest obstacles to fresh graduates right. is the lack of experience. Right. Yeah. We, 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 I'm told our time is fast. Time flies when you're having fun. But yeah. uh, sorry, sorry, yeah. George. I think there's such a body, but there's yeah. no awareness about right. that. Yeah. Right. Closing comments. Less than ten seconds. Right to survive, right to survive, right to survive. Everybody mm -hmm. has that right. So everything should be done to ensure that our mm -hmm. youth and everybody has that right. Mm -hmm. I, I think the most important thing is uh, change in attitude. Mm -hmm. It's important that uh, those who are looking for, searching for employment, uh, to also look at some of these low-lying fruits and the opportunities that uh, the government is offering in terms of the, the funds. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also look at the informal sector, like the construction sector, the real estate. Right. That's where, uh, if you look at that, you may end up finding your place. Okay, yeah. great. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a good place to end this conversation. But uh, every Monday we'll be having such conversations that are forward-looking, trying to look for solutions for the job situation in this country. And remember, if you're out there, you can reach us on our Twitter handle at KTN Job Center. Every Monday, same time, same place. This has been Job Center.